Last week, we released a huge start to finish installation video of our 24 volt electrical system in our transit. This week, I'm gonna talk about the cost of the system, some of the design choices we made, and answer a few questions that we got about the system. So let's jump into it. For this electrical system, we installed two 270 amp hour Battleborn GC3 heated lithium batteries and wired them in series to create a 24 volt system. The most common question we got was, why did we choose a 24 volt system? And the answer is pretty simple, because we've never done a 24 volt system on this channel before and we get a lot of questions about them. But another reason we decided to do a 24 volt system is because with a 24 volt system, we could use much smaller wire, which reduced the costs on the system overall. For example, the battery bank wiring kit for two batteries wired in parallel with four aught wire costs $49.99 for the appropriate amount of wire, lugs, and heat shrink. Whereas wired in series, we could use one aught wire and less connections, and that kit costs $14.99. So that's a pretty big difference already, and that's definitely something to consider when designing your electrical system. Altogether, this system cost $12,060. Now let's break that down. Our Explorus Life complete kit for this system, as shown on our website, totals $4,695. That complete kit includes all of the wiring and components needed for the electrical system, except for the two 270 amp hour Battleborn GC3H batteries at a cost of $5,018, and the Victron MultiPlus 24 volt 3000 watt inverter charger at a cost of $1,388. We recommend purchasing these items directly from Battleborn as they will program your inverter charger for your specific battery bank. In addition to the major components and wiring, we spent $722 on the electrical enclosure, $50 on the external solar port for our ground deploy array, $24 for an HDMI extender to reach from our Serbo GX all the way over to our GX Touch 70 that's mounted on the other side of the van, zero dollars on the wood that we mounted the batteries to as it was scrap left over from another project, $63 on L-Track hardware to mount the enclosure to the L-Track on the floor, and I'm throwing in an additional $100 for miscellaneous shop supplies such as zip ties, grommets, screws lost to the abyss, etc. All of that together is $12,060. What's not included in this figure is all of the branch circuits and their associated components. I wanted to keep this as simple as possible, so we'll cover those in our full cost breakdown once the van is complete. We also didn't include a ground deploy solar array as we haven't purchased or decided on the panels for that. We did, however, include the solar panels and all of the wiring to install the array that we have on the roof of our transit. We also didn't include alternator charging because at this stage, we're still waiting on parts availability so that we can have a super fast alternator charging. We anticipate that to come later this year. Building an electrical system also requires quite a few specialty tools that most of us wouldn't have on hand if we haven't already done an electrical installation before. These tools are outlined in a video that we did a while back and we'll link that in the video description. But these tools include wire cutters, diagonal cutters, flush trim cutters, wire strippers, a cable knife, a ratcheting insulated terminal crimper, a ratcheting uninsulated terminal crimper, a lug crimper, ferrule crimpers, a heat gun, a multimeter, and an AC voltage detector. In total, these add up to about 600 bucks. You'll also need some standard hand tools like sockets and ratchets, screwdrivers, wrenches, a drill, and an impact driver. I'm not including those in the cost though, as I'm making an assumption that most of us DIYers already have these tools on hand. So this brings our total cost of the system so far to $12,660. But the last component of our cost is our time, or rather Nate's time. I asked Nate to give his thoughts on about how long this project would have taken if he hadn't been filming and redoing sections over and over for the sake of the video. We determined that a proficient installer that has all of the components on hand and knows their way around the system would take about a week to install the system, including building the enclosure. A novice, on the other hand, would likely need to take about two weeks to install the system, giving plenty of time for mistakes and, most importantly, reading all of the manuals for the components. All in all, we have a heck of an electrical system installed for $12,000 plus about a week of Nate's time. I'm pretty happy with that cost, honestly. We now have a high-performing electrical system with all the bells and whistles that we could possibly want. Well, except for alternator charging. That will come soon, I hope. Now, a quick note for y'all on installations and professional installers. 
We know that not everyone wants to invest in the tools and the time to install their own electrical system, and we completely sympathize with that. Electrical systems are complex and can be scary. Since we unfortunately do not have the time to add installations to our services, we recently launched an Explorers.life certified installer network. What this means is that we have fully vetted each installer on this list and have approved them to install our system designs. You can find this list on our website at Explorers.life under installation services. I'll also note here that any installer out there that is offering our systems and is not on this list is not only infringing on our intellectual property and breaching our download policy that explicitly states that these diagrams are for personal use only and not commercial use, but also, and perhaps more importantly, they're using our information that we put out there for you guys for free so that they can build a business around our information. This does not support the free content that we make available to all of you. Maybe don't go with an installer who is unethical enough to rip off our intellectual property. Who knows what else they're cutting corners on. Okay, enough of my rant. I really hope this video was helpful in letting you analyze the cost of an electrical system. Let me know in the comments if you have any other questions on the cost of the system or if I left anything out. See you next week.